Well. Well, whatever else is in store for us, Arthur, I'll tell you one thing. What's that? It's a rare old pleasure not to be freezing our balls off up in those mountains. <laughs> You're not wrong there. Be well. And you, Hosea. Oi, Arthur. You? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. Soon, yeah. Okay. Hello. My husband has your money. Here it is. Thank you. And your husband, is he well? Who did you call a goddamn drunkard? I got no idea. into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. Remember, you won't find something like this anywhere else. I'm gonna think about it.
here. Calm down. Yep. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <sighs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. Okay. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your keep. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. All right, hold on tight. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. Just by the water there? You mean? But first, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. You 
Is that a bite, Uncle Arthur? There we go. Pull him in! You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give him a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. To look at that spot. That's just a part of fishing, Jack. Uncle Arthur! Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Yeah, I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just... You sit, and wait, and try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. I think he's got a fight. Look. Fish on the line. I see. I see. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000 for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Oh, Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong. Aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? 
He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Taking me back? Huh? Yeah. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. And I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty. Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey. You did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing, just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Okay, girl. 
Hey, Archer. Miss Cat, all good? Gotta bait the hook. Thing is, thing is that it isn't. Well, what's the plan? I mean, after Blackwater, we don't want any more deaths. Hey, how have you been, Arthur? Fine, Mary Beth. You see that Mary Gillis? Sure, yeah, I saw her. Get over her, Arthur. Oh, it was all a long time ago. Oh. I hope so. As you wish, my friend.
Good day, Mr. Morgan. Good morning. Good morning. Wake up, Molly. I just want to be left alone for now, please. I meant to tell you, Pinkerton's also said they caught up with Mac. Bastards finished him off. Oh, damn it. I assumed as much, but that is a real shame. Looking to see a show? Hey, 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 you need a ticket there. Ticket, please. We'll be starting soon, just inside the tent there. tale from when our country was young that the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. 
One summer, a bear was by the stream. An old man wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land and gorge yourself on fish and meat and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for sixty. Go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle, and he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. <laughs> I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a-calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends, <laughs> the turtle said. If Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy possum said, Well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two-Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what old man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. Bear snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened frozen and just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told. Come again. How you been, friend? The usual. What did you expect? Morning. Morning. You shit. sure are aiming to start shit, ain't you? Something. You again. Best mind your ways around here or I'll be after you, you hear? Listen, 
I am a changed man. You're doing a great job. Hmm. You're back. Ain't you got a magic potion to get you out of here? I'm not a magician, sir. I'm a medical man, a healer. And any suggestion that my tinctures could get cause harm here, is you. sheer balderdash. Yeah, I'll let the judge figure that out. Good luck. You see this badge? This is your last chance. Sorry. <laughs> Going around in circles here. Think about this now. Come, Come along this easy. Book, Don't you dare move! You keep moving and I will kill you where you stand! Someone save me! Oh, the hell? I give up. All right, I want God to damn you. it, you come with me now! You got some allergy to working? I gotta catch my breath at some point. Morning. Hey there. Gonna enjoy beating you. Put it down if you ain't gonna use it. Sammy Wolf! What? What the hell are you doing? One more. That sound treat you. Well, I feel all you best treat. act right in here from now on. What'll it be then? Bye then. look like one of ours. Does he boys? Well, if this one ain't been riding with Kieran Duffy. This is a no good bastard. Make him pay. You're done. 
You fools. This is it. It's over for you. You're surrounded now. Back for more trouble? Ain't we had enough? Morning to you. I'll say it again, mister. Hello. Uh, hello. Again. Who's this coward? No need for that. You drunk or something? Just exactly how dumb are you? But this ain't fair. Leave me be. Do I look like I'm in the mood for your crap? Me and the sheriff are just gonna get out of here. Hey! Don't forget, the sheriff comes in here all the time. You remember him, don't you? Don't mean to think that. Give me. It's just a game. Let me take a look at you, tough guy. Whatever you say. Hey, psst, shut it. Would you please let me be? Oh, see, you ain't tough after all. Okay, okay, you got it. You hear about that ruckus over at the hotel? Thanks, partner. No brawling this time, all right? Who let the simpleton out of the asylum? What the hell did you just say to me? Yeah, you, you dope. I'm just gonna walk away slow. Okay? Thank you for your help. I don't like this one bit. Oh boy, I don't need to get involved in this. Look out. Hey. Quick! Hey, Are you done yet? You had your fun. Now pack it up. Let's see about this. Don't make me upset no, now. No, no more.
Wallace, this here's the kind soul I was telling you about. <laughs> the one that gave you the medicine when the snake got you. Mm -hmm. I guess so. Listen, friend, I know I can never repay you, but... How about you head over to the gunsmith and pick out your choice of item on my tab? Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, seemed like the least I could do. With him being sent straight from the Almighty to save my life. Yeah, the Almighty. Always a doubter you are. I'm a man of this world, not the next one. Anyway. Hey, what can I do for you? Fitter outside told me I could grab something on his tab. One with the bite in his leg. Ah, oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for between the two of us. Well, take a look around. Find something you like, and I'll put it on his tab. Had regular work till the rancher wanted something else fixed. I was a Christian and ended up on my ass. It's okay. Fine choice. I'll let him know. Bye now. Uh, well, one of Mrs. Tim's not doing too well. I fear she may not last much longer. Mm.
I'll let the clerk know. Thanks again. Sure. Scared nobody. Hey, you there? Hold up. Not today, I Don't move a goddamn nation. Stick my neck out for no one. Go away! Don't shoot! This ain't happening. Thank <laughs> you. 
that some bitch. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> 